Hey guys, it's Murray from Muzz IT here, and today we are going to be reapplying the thermal paste to an ASUS R9290 reference card. Okay, so here we have a ASUS R9290 reference card. Uh, we got the reference card because it was originally water-cooled. Um, water cooled and overclocked in a customer's computer. Uh, since then, the customer has upgraded to Fury X's, so now we are putting the air coolers back on. Uh, we've been running this card for a few months now with the air cooler on. It's been running fine until uh, a couple of days ago. We were playing the uh, Open Overwatch Open Beta, and it started doing some weird stuff and crashing and not artifacting. So we're going to. Um, Pull it apart, give it a clean, reapply the thermal paste, and uh, see how we go. Okay, guys, this was uh, the best I could do in regards to video setup at the moment, so hopefully, you can see what we're doing fairly well from there. So, what we're going to do is flip the card over, grab a Phillips screwdriver, and start undoing the screws here. This is the, uh, the hard bit, we've got all the screws out and we have to be very careful because the thermal paste is a little bit sticky, same with the pads. But to get it to release you just have to twist the card basically. Get it to move around a bit. And we should There we go. And there we have the reference cooler. Thermal paste is still actually pretty good. And there is the card itself. So I'll do now is we'll clean all that up. Now, to clean it up, all we're using is tissue paper and isopropyl alcohol.
doesn't have to be a hundred percent spotless as you can see there's still a little bit of thermal paste around the CPU there but we will do our best to get rid of it all just so we're not mixing old and new thermal paste together we want the card to have the best possible thermal conductivity it can Now, this is a big tube of thermal paste. They usually don't come in this big, but uh, we have a computer repair store as well and we use it all the time, so we buy it in bulk. Uh, the stuff we find works particularly well, actually, given the price. So we'll put a nice liberal amount on here, the X and then cross method is what I like to do. Now what we're going to do is flip it over actually and go the other way. Just line all the holes up. There we go, give it a good push. Okay. Now we want our bracket actually no <clears throat> we'll put some of these other screws back in first to hold the cooler and the frame mostly there we'll do the bracket last Now when I put the screws back in, I just start each screw off, I don't finish them off or tighten them up all the way. And that is so if you do need to move the block around a little bit for the screws to line up, you're not having to constantly untighten and retighten and untighten and retighten screws. You get them all started off nicely. And then, once they're all in place, then you can go around and tighten them up. Speed things up a bit here, shall we? Okay, now we can do them a lot nice and tight. Right, 
Now we want to put our bracket back on, make sure all the screws and the springs are there. Start one corner, just do a couple of turns and do the opposite corner. A couple of turns, this corner, a couple of turns, this corner, a couple of turns. Now <clears throat> we go in a diagonal pattern. This is, it's not as important these days as it used to be. Um, what used to happen is on the older CPUs there was no heat spread like there is on the Intel CPUs and AMD CPUs now and a lot of the times your heat sink was going straight on top of the die and if you didn't apply the pressure evenly you could actually crack the corner of your die off completely and destroy your CPU. Now as you can see we were putting the thermal paste directly on top of the die on this graphics card, this is why we're being very cautious and screwing this down evenly as possible as evenly as possible. It does probably take a bit longer this way, but I believe it to be safer. Right. We didn't actually need to take this one off because we weren't taking the IO shield off just this bit here but I took it up anyway just in case okay so now please remember to reconnect your fan the amount of times I've seen cards come in and the cards blowing up because they uh, it's overheated and killed the card because they forgot to reconnect the fan now, it doesn't happen as much these days software's pretty good it won't run properly or it'll beep at you or it'll It'll let you know that there's an error, it won't post, etc, etc. Um, but back in the day, that was not the case. And if you're not careful, you could very, very easily kill a graphics card that way. Right, anyway, so we'll put the shroud back on. Okay, then we've got the six little screws to go back in. Three. Now these are the same, I'll get them all three on the top started and then I will do them up tight and then I'll pop it over and do the same on the bottom. And there we have it, one ASUS R9 290 uh, pulled apart, cleaned, thermal place reapplied, put back together. Thanks guys, we'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember if you like the video to hit the like button, if you don't like it hit the dislike button, it helps a lot. If you have any questions please leave them in the comments below, we will do our best to answer every question we get, it is difficult though but we do try. Alternatively, you can hit us up on Twitter at muzz underscore IT or on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash muzz IT or even if you're in Mongray in New Zealand, pop into the shop and see us. Our shop's at 112 Robert Street. Everyone's welcome. Um, alternatively, you can check out a previous video we've done up here and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.